Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to write extended script for After Effects with the help of ChatGPT to make your workflow and your desire for animating stuff in After Effects more easier and more convenient. And yeah. So here I wrote some codes in a different kind of um, code written program. And for example here I have one which multi-duplicates my layers. So I can run it here in my After Effects. I go back to my After Effects here. I can write then the number, for example, 25. And as you can see, it now duplicates this bolded or this round shape that I have like 25 times here in my comp. I can select them all, run maybe this randomized script here to randomize them in my field. Now they're like all separately. And here I have one script which also changed the colors, for example. So now they all have a different color and I can easily like build like this my scripts and it's really useful. So this is just one example to really make great use of this AI uh, extended script writing. And I will teach you today how you can do it on your own to create your own uh, plugins that you have in mind and maybe need for your workflow. So yeah, stay tuned. So before we get started, it's good to have like a code scripting program and one which is great and free to use is your Visual Studio Code. Um, on this web page, I will put the download link in my video description so you can easily find it. Um, just a small note um, to make them work like with After Effects on MacBook. Uh, I don't suggest you to download the Mac version for MacBook. Uh, personally, I use a MacBook, but I still use like the Intel version. So feel free to just download the Windows version, even though you have a Mac version, because uh, it's more compatible with the process that I want to teach you today. So after you install your Visual Studio Code uh, software, we need to install one more uh, extension for it to work. Like if you open the tool, it would look like this. We need to now just download and uh, download this one, Extended Script Debugger, it's from Adobe. This is a tool to directly use it um, with the help of Visual Studio Pro to uh, create like extension script. So we just click here on install. It directly says here Visual Studio Code is required to install this extension. So you just press continue and it will automatically install here. Then after we have installed, you can make sure by going here in this extension tab on the left side, it should pop up here on the left side, extension script, uh, extend script by Adobe. So if you see it, you're perfectly uh, done with the install progress and you can directly just dig in. I highly prefer to use in this case an AI system like ChatGPT. I also tried with Gemini, like this Google AI or some other tools, but I got my most success rate here with ChatGPT because I think it's more trained for an Arkins uh, to get plugins running because many people used it in the past. So I highly also suggest you to use this kind of AI tool. Uh, the other ones, they may have like um, problems and they push out errors. And I don't have this issue as much as the others with ChatGPT. So in my case, as I showed you before, so my idea was first to just be able to have a script which duplicates my shape layer that I created instead of making like command D endlessly. Uh, I thought like there would be a quick and easy way. So I just go back to ChatGPT and really write like what I need and for what I needed. So. I write like, so just before I um, validate my input, uh, so the most important things I answered here, I put extended script as an input prompt. I write for After Effects. I wrote it wrong here in this case. So let's fix it. Then what I want to do, I want to duplicate my selected layers. Uh, and I want to like write down what uh, how many times I want to duplicate. So please make sure you really <laughs> explain it like a baby to this AI tool to minimize your errors. So I press run and I will let him do his magic. So here sometimes something popped up. So I press here to copy it. 
go back to my Visual Studio Pro and I create now a new text file here on the upper left corner. So I go to File, New Text File, paste here the code that I just generated. And before I can make it run here, like this option doesn't appear yet because it's now uh, not yet saved as a JSX file. So I make sure I save it also like this. So I go here to save as. After I write here, make sure you make the format also. We need to scroll down and we need to take this one, JavaScript JSX. So this is important. I press save. So I press save. Now it's the correct file format. And as soon as you uh, name it as JSX file, and because we installed before this extension script, we uh, see now here in this down left corner, uh, evaluate the active file in host application. So this gives us an option to directly run the script from our Visual Studio Code Pro and After Effects. We see like all the Adobe pool, uh, tools pop up. So this is also a great way to um, make scripts for like your other Adobe tools, not just for After Effects. For example, I also did some for Illustrator because I use it a lot and I have a specific workflow which works for me. So in our case, I use Adobe After Effects 2025. I make it run. And now we see it already creates something that I wanted. So number of copies. So I already have my layer here selected. So I write like 15. Press 15 and bam, it already created now 15 uh, things here. Um, I can already tell the script works. So um, I can just continue and do my next script. Which is maybe to randomize them because they're now uh, all on top. So I can maybe now make a script which randomizes my position layers for the um, amount that I select. So I just dig in back to my ChatGPT and write, hey, I need uh, another extended script which repositions my selected layers randomly in After Effects. So then he will do his magic. And it can sometimes happen that uh, the scripts sometimes have an error or an issue which doesn't work directly. Um, if that's the case, you can just copy and paste the error in ChatGPT again and re-ask them. So he can try to fix it, but not lucky. And also this gives you later also an understanding how to easily read the scripts. So also ChatGPT writes like cool alerts for example here please select a composition so in case i don't select anything or i don't select a specific layer to randomly uh, reposition so this is a great way also to learn a bit like expression side slowly but uh i make it really brainless now uh, by just copying it so for example now i will try to not select anything and it should pop up this arrow please select uh, one layer so let's see if it does it. And now we see like if we don't select anything, it runs this code, so it seems to work. Now we will select them and run. And now we see the script already works. So I can be more specific and tell like, hey, uh, make sure they don't overlap uh, with other layers, for example. But for our case, I will just keep it simple and just go on. So the next thing is maybe to have uh, different colors. Write me an extended script which randomize my shape layer colors that I have selected. So it will give me then a new script here. Make a new text file. Paste it here inside. Make sure I save it as JSX. So as you can see, it's really a straightforward process. And it's really easy to um, keep track with others. So randomize colors. Then I run the code. I make sure I selected all my layers, which is the case. So I run my code. And we can see it works. So now I have like some random colors. Won't finish on, but I guess I can just rerun this code. And now we see it's already other colors, so this is pretty nice. 
so write me an extended script which makes my layer with a wiggle expression and then I can write like I want a pop-up window to set up the wiggle how I want to. So this is a more complex one. Let's see if it can do it. So I paste it again and let's see what it does. So I go back and it looks already promising. So frequency, let's make the frequency 0 0.8 and amplitude maybe 15. And press apply and as we can see, we created really with some easy step like cool tree plugins to run from our extension script. And later on, like you have now like these files here, like I have some other uh, extension scripts also inside this, but basically you can also run them without this Visual Studio Pro. Like you just go here on the file and here is the script tab. Then you can just put them like where here the other scripts uh, are in your case. Or you can just um, press here run script file. Um, I will also show you um, another way to implement them in the UI, which I personally also prefer. So my preferred way actually to run like scripts that I have created on my own is to use like this free plugin, which is like partially free, but uh, you can use like Mobar. Uh, as long as you use your own script that we developed via ChatGPT, it's free to use. So in our case, it's actually perfect. So you can just go here, for example, create your own uh, input window, press here plus, and here you can see add script. So for example, here, randomize position, and I can even choose directly an icon here. For example, for position, let's maybe use this square. And then I can give it a title and I press OK. And now you can see I created easy here an icon. So instead of going back and forth to this um, Visual Studio Code input, I can easily have a button here in After Effects with my script, press here, I'd like to randomize position and it's really more straightforward and it feels more like plugin ready so this is my preferred way yeah uh, you can download this mobile for free it's here uh, on the link also i posted in the video description below but what this does is like he wrote many small like scripts inside i personally use it a lot and i really highly recommend also this plugin um, as soon uh, as you want to use the other plugin tools here and in, inside the script it's like not free like you have a daily usage of some uh, I, I think maybe you can use like um, some input like 10 or 20 times I don't know but uh, as long as you use your own script it's like limitless so so yeah I hope you had fun guys happy scripting and just post below your scripts maybe like what you came up with I wonder like if it helped you a lot so yeah stay tuned and happy animate bye bye hey everyone thank you so so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it a lot if you feel like uh, you want a future content like this on your feed uh, feel free to just uh, hit the subscribe button below you can write comments below to just let me know how you liked it and if you liked it a lot or you have like suggestions for future videos just also uh, write them below. I will try to read them all. Happy animating. See you soon in the next video. Bye.